topic of discussion is a UTI-focused equity fund, NFO. Joining us on the show is Sudan Shostana, fund manager at UTI Mutual Fund. Thanks, Sudanshu, for joining us on the show today. Sudanshu, to start with, can you talk to us about the UTI-focused equity fund? Yeah, so the UTI focused equity fund is, you know, a hand picked handful of our high conviction ideas, uh, which we will run in a concentrated portfolio of 30 stocks. Uh, the idea is that it is benchmark agnostic, market cap agnostic, and, uh, you know, potentially it will give you uh, a bit of alpha uh, against the broader markets and indices. So, then should describe to us your stock picking strategy in the process for UTI focused equity fund. Yeah. So see, our uh, portfolio is going to be built around core sustainable businesses, right? And uh, core sustainable businesses or the core portfolio of sustainable businesses are businesses uh, which have a long runway for growth. And these are also companies which generate enough internal capital to take care of their growth capital, right? You know, like working capital and you know fixed asset creation. Uh, so that's where we're going to have a core of our portfolio. Uh, we are also going to be looking at certain transformation opportunities. Uh, these are primarily companies and sectors you know where businesses generally have sustainable outcomes but they have had some strategy issue or some management issue and if we do feel that the strategy is being realigned to make them sustainable businesses and they have sustainable outcomes we'll invest in those companies uh, we'll also in addition to this look at cyclical companies uh, these are not deep cyclicals these are companies where you know over a 5 6 year period uh, the outcomes on the average are sustainable in nature but you might have a couple of years or one or two years in between where the outcomes don't look sustainable so we'll invest in these companies when the valuations are attractive uh, with a thought process that valuations will revert to mean so that's going to be the basic uh, process of investing in focused equity fund so then sure with economic activity picking up across different sectors of the economy there's growing optimism amongst uh, investors which is very obviously reflected in the sharp recovery in the equity markets uh, how do you see the markets uh, shaping up over the days ahead so see i think uh, there was a lot of uh, negativity about the fact that you know the pandemic would lead to the fact that there's going to be no economic activity and what's happened is that we have seen recovery much better than what people anticipated maybe last year right somewhere in march uh, so the reaction has been more from a perspective that you know the pandemic is not halting or you know making everything stall and the activity is coming back yes we have had a second wave and we had some lockdowns but now businesses have adapted to the pandemic you know the hybrid model of working from home and working from office is now uh, ongoing we have seen construction activity pick up so this is basically what we have seen is that you know the markets have come back to maybe their average or you know little bit more than normal levels uh, valuations definitely are up there uh, but you know there's a there's there's a lot of consensus that earnings will recover uh, we also have certain triggers in the form of you know very low interest rates right now uh, we are also looking at the fact that we might have a capital expenditure cycle as companies are announcing capital expenditure but we are not very sure about it global growth is picking up so you know you know us is really picking up economic growth so people are quite positive both on the internal and external sector uh, so there is some amount of risk uh, from an earnings perspective but if earnings do get delivered uh, you know people will still continue to make money in this uh, in these markets so then should what percentage of utf focused equity fund uh, would be invested in the mid and small cap space sure so see as a fund uh, though it's a benchmark and market cap agnostic fund but to may it maintain the character of the fund you know to in the long term right 5 years 10 years 15 years with scalability so today if the fund is a 1000 crore fund and becomes a 20000 crore fund it should not be like you know that we are 100% uh, mid and small cap at 1000 crores and we are 90% large cap at you know 10000 20000 crores so to maintain the characteristic our optimal allocation will be 60 70% in large cap and around 30 to 40% in mid and small cap that's what we'll try to maintain over a period of time And what are the risk mitigation strategies adopted by the UTF focused equity fund? So see I think uh, the fact that you know we have a very elaborate uh, uh, research process and an investment process right and you know there's a lot of experience in the team you know the data analysis is done I think the high conviction stocks itself right the selection process itself is a risk mitigation strategy I think uh, you know all portfolios fall stocks to fall but when you have these you know sustainable businesses and you know uh, if you pick the right kind of stocks 
then you know the recovery is faster as their earning momentum is better right their their earnings come back faster and we have seen that in the last year 15 months you know that we have seen companies which are pretty strong in their uh, business domain uh, where you know earnings have come back because of you know opening up the economic activity these companies have done better so this is also a risk mitigation strategy which is a part of the selection process so then show how is the utf focused equity fund different from the other diversified open ended equity funds uh, from the uti uh, mutual fund uh, stable so see uh, i think if you look at most of the diversified equity funds in uti stable the number of stocks are you know anywhere between 50 to 60 or 65 right uh, the whole idea of having a focused equity fund from our stable is the fact that you know, we have been able to have high conviction ideas and you know there's always been query that why don't we run a smaller portfolio of high conviction stocks and i think that's where the key differentiation is that you know we'll have those high conviction ideas 30 and up to 30 ideas in the portfolio the second is we'll also be a uh, high active share in the portfolio because we are a benchmark agnostic uh, portfolio right so uh, with 30 stocks you know limited number of stocks and with being you know uh, benchmark to the uh, in order to the benchmark the active share will also be higher against the other funds which we have Right. So, Danshu, what are your preferred sectors in the UTI focused equity fund? So, see, uh, the idea behind a focused equity fund is that it should be totally bottoms up. Right? Uh, we cannot be looking at the fact that we want any sector bias. And why don't we want a sector bias? I'll just give you a few examples. Uh, you know, if you look at the NBFC sector over the last ten years, the best performing stock is up, you know, around forty-five x, and the worst performing stock is up like four x. Uh, if you look at the manufacturing sector, especially in the uh, plastic pipe space. the best performing stock is up you know 178 times the worst performing stock is up eight times so we don't want any sector bias where we say that we're going to put allocations you know into particular sectors uh, any good idea the top 25 30 ideas which we have up to 30 ideas is what we'll do sector allocation will be an outcome and it will not be an input when we are designing the portfolio right so then so what role does a focused strategy play in an investor's portfolio is the fund suitable to be part of a co portfolio or should it be those satellite allocations which are around the co portfolio so see uh, there are two kinds of allocation you know one is your core allocation the other is tactical now tactical can be thematic right uh, what you are saying with a focused portfolio is that maybe the shorter term volatility is higher but as you are invested over a 5 7 year period the volatility comes down and it behaves like a normal portfolio it is an equity class itself equity is 20 25% kind of volatility for the nifty Uh, so I think yes, part of your core portfolio, but it can be a smaller part of your core portfolio. So say if your core portfolio is seventy percent, thirty percent is tactical, or that seventy percent, maybe ten, fifteen percent can be in uh, a, a focused fund because over the longer term, it is a wealth uh, creator, and you know, uh, shorter term volatility or drawdowns they don't uh, matter over a five, seven year period. My very last is Sadanshu. What is your advice then to investors who are looking to invest in a UTI focused equity fund? Uh, What should the minimum recommended investment term tenure be, and can they invest in the lump sum, or do you recommend investing in it through an SIP? So, see, uh, I think uh, investors who are coming into the UTI equity focus fund should be coming for long-term capital appreciation, you know, for wealth creation. But they should be aware that you know, in the shorter term, there will be a little bit more volatility than diversified equity funds. Uh, from a perspective of how they should be investing uh, in the portfolio. you know uh, you should be looking at the fact that you should be coming for a period of 5 7 years uh, just to give for an iterative purposes that you know if you are in equities you know on a broader indices been 6 to 7 years the probability of making a loss you know is almost uh, negligible almost negligible i'm not saying negligible almost negligible and three year rolling returns uh, definitely do turn double digit from historical data whatever we have seen uh, from an investment perspective how to deploy money see markets are up there you know you can't deny that fact uh, we are running this product not for a one year or two year period this is going to be like our rest of our funds are there for 30 35 years so we are looking at the fact that you can put you know some amount of money in the uh, nfo and then you can you know maybe do a sip or you know do an stp over a 9 10 month period hey thanks for the time for that sanan sure uh, great to have you prospect the uti focus equity fund nfo thanks a ton thanks amina thank you very much Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme related documents carefully.